Now, my daughter, release the final seal. In doing so, you will complete the final sacrifice of your human existence, your heart, and your memory. By doing so of your own free will, you will become a true angel. What? Sacrifice her heart and memory? Colette's going to forget about us? Colette's human life will now end, and she will be reborn as an angel. Professor Sage, what is he talking about? Lloyd, I'm sorry. I promised Colette I wouldn't say anything. Colette will give up her life in order to regenerate the world. Becoming an angel means dying. That's not quite correct. The Chosen's heart will die, and her body will be offered to the Goddess Martell. By offering her body, Colette will revive the Goddess. This is the true nature of the world regeneration. The revival of the Goddess Martell is the revival of the world itself. That... that's... Lord Remiel, we have heard that a world known as Tetheala lies parallel to Silverant. That is not for you to know. You kept it a secret because it is true, correct? From whom did you learn of it? Can't Crucius make both worlds peaceful? If that is what the Chosen desires, she can lend her power to Crucius by becoming an angel. Once the Goddess Martell is revived by the Chosen, the two worlds will surely achieve peace, just as the Chosen wishes. <gasps> Is that true, you ask? You know why you have come here. You can't! Are you really planning to die? Colette, stop! If you sacrifice yourself, your friends who love you, and your family, and... and me, we'll all be sad. It'll be the same as sacrificing all of us. <gasps> Genus, let me go! I don't want anything to happen to her either. But what else are we supposed to do? The people of Silveron are suffering too. But... The sacrifice of one single person, the Chosen, will save the world. Are you saying that you would choose the Chosen Soul over the entire world? Now, Colette, come join your father. Wait! Remiel! Is there really no other way? Colette's your daughter! Surely you don't really want her to die either. My daughter, don't make me laugh. When I came down to play the role of guardian angel, you inferior beings just started calling me her father on your own. Wh what? I merely placed the Crucius Crystal upon this sacrifice, who was selected to become Martel's vessel. Colette! Lloyd, it's okay. I realized what was going on. Every time I met Remuel, I felt that he was not my real father. But still, for some reason, I still feel like I want to cry. Colette, if you realize what was going on, then why... You can hear my voice? I'm so happy! I'll be able to say goodbye to you in the end. Colette, I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. I'm so sorry. I promised I wouldn't make another mistake. But it looks like I have again. No. Thank you, Lloyd. Because of you, I was able to find the courage to protect the world. Because of you, I was able to find the strength to live these 16 years to the fullest. So please, It looks like it's time. Goodbye.
<laughs> I've done it. It's finally complete. Martell's vessel is finally complete. With this, I shall become one of the four Seraphim. Wait just a minute. What are you going to do with Colette? He's going to take her to heaven. Master, you pay for this. Crucius, the angels, the goddess Martell. It's all a big lie, isn't it? Let her go, now! That I cannot do. For she is Martell's vessel. This is Martell's new body, which took years to complete. I have no more use for any of you. Be gone!